Hey, what is poppin' everybody? Ooh, we threw up an O for yesterday. I, I, I mean, I'm first to admit always, I always recap every single day. We threw up an O for yesterday, missing on Anthony Edwards, Herb Jones, and John Morant. Uh, the Grizzlies kind of were able to blow out the Timberwolves yesterday, so that really didn't help both Jaw and it didn't help Anthony Edwards. Jaw also got hurt, left the game for a little bit, then came back, so... A little bit of a rough story there, and then Herb Jones hit two threes, kind of had one of his better scoring games of the entire, really, of the year. So I was like, oh, great. The one game I said go under, he had a really good game. So that's unfortunate for the recap there, uh, but let's just get right into today. Um, let's not mess around with it. Like, we, we can't do worse than yesterday. Let's get it. Real quick, if you guys are new to Underdog Fantasy, make sure that you uh, use, there's a link down in the description I have that automatically takes you to the App Store where you can download Underdog Fantasy. Also throws in my Take My Shot code when you guys sign up for that. Um, so when you make your first deposit, it helps me out big time as well as it gives you a 100% deposit match up to $100. So if you throw in 20 bucks, for example, you'll get actually 40 bucks and they'll give you another $23 just to bet on for funsies, a little, a little risk-free bets for fun. And so that is always nice as well to get those risk-free bets. Also helps me out, like I said, big time if you guys use my code, take my shot. Because um, all my picks every single day are always going to be underdog fantasy picks. I think it's the best player prop betting app out there. Uh, with that being said, now let's get to today's picks. Oh, baby, and today it's looking good. Give me the lock of the day today. Going to be coming from a Toronto Raptor. He's been absolutely balling out because this guy has been injured. Give me OG Ananobi today. Over 17 and a half points in his one, two, three, four, five, six games this year without Scotty Barnes. He's averaging 26 points per game, dropping uh, 36, 21, 26, 25, 24, and 24 in that last game versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Or excuse me. That was during the regular season. And of course, that last game versus the Philadelphia 76ers, he also had a very good game, uh, scoring 26. So he's obviously had very good success when Scotty Barnes is not on the floor. Obviously, when Scotty's on the floor, take shots away from OG Ananobi. OG Ananobi will now be the second scoring option behind Pascal Siakam. And he put on a show last time in there, even in their blowout loss. He still put on a show. Um, today, they will be taking it back to Toronto. So home crowd always brings back or always brings in good energy for that home team. So I'm assuming, or I'm anticipating they can make it a little bit better of a fight and OG Ananobi can put up a big night again tonight. So I like OG Ananobi's our lock of the day today, over 17 and a half points, let's get it. Next up, man, give me the beef. Give me Kyrie Irving, give me that beef stew versus this Boston Celtics team. Uh, over 28 and a half points. Last three games for Kyrie Irving go as 39, 34, and 35. On a little bit of a tear, this playoffs on a little bit of a stretch. And nobody wants to play against a pissed off Kyrie Irving. And he was very pissed off that last game. And I'm anticipating the Boston Celtics fans are going to do exactly the same thing today. They're going to just eat him up and, and yell at him and, you know, say whatever they've been saying to him. And, and they're going to not get in Kyrie's head. That's what I'm saying. Like, he, get in his head in the sense that he's going to go off. Um, I'm anticipating another big game from Kyrie Irving today versus the Boston Celtics. Um... No one in the league, no matter if you're defensive player of the year like Marcus Smart, you're, you're not going to stop Kyrie Irving when he's in his bag. When he gets in his bag and he's angry and he's pissed off at these uh, Celtics fans, he's going to absolutely do what he did last time. He dropped 39. So I'm anticipating another big night tonight again for Kyrie Irving. Over 28 and a half points. Let's take the over on that one, baby. All right, man. Next up, give me Giannis's rebounds. Yesterday or the other day, we went over on his points. Today, we're going to go over on his rebounds. There's this old rumor rolling around in the NBA that it's hard to shoot in Milwaukee. For some reason, teams really struggle to shoot in Milwaukee. And Milwaukee's rebound numbers at home go way up. In their three matchups this year when Milwaukee's played the Bulls at home, Giannis had 12 rebounds, Giannis had 17 rebounds, and he had 16 rebounds in their most recent matchup in Game 1. He should absolutely ab obliterate this 13 rebound line. Hopefully he doesn't get in foul trouble again today. Um, as well as the fact, like I said, in that last Game 1, he had 16 rebounds. He had 8 or 7 rebounds in the first quarter alone. Um, again, showing that, that the that both teams opposing teams really struggle to shoot in Milwaukee. When you struggle to shoot, that means there's more rebounds, and Giannis is grabbing the majority of those rebounds. And his three times they've played this year at home, 12 rebounds, 17 rebounds, and 16 rebounds. His line is set at 13.0. Let's hope that Giannis can at least get to 13, if not go over that tonight for versus the Bulls. So I like Giannis over 13-0 rebounds tonight versus the Bulls. All right, baby, top of the perfect three slip. Let's get it. No way we go over three tonight. There's just no way. OG Ananobi, our lock of the day, over 17.5 points versus the Philadelphia 76ers, averaging 26 points per game without Scotty Barnes in the lineup. I'm loving those numbers. Kyrie Irving, we know what's going on there. We got They got a whole lot of beef stew cooking up there in Boston between Kyrie and the Celtics teams and the fans. And then next up, give me Giannis Antetokounmpo, who absolutely destroys the glass when they play the Bulls at home. I'm loving all three of these plays today. There's no way we go over three today. There's no way I put my life on it. Let's get it. 
anyway, guys, with that being said, that's going to wrap up today's video. Three spectacular plays today. I am absolutely loving, absolutely loving these three plays. Um, only the second time in channel history we've ever had a just a blanker we throw up an over. Um, doesn't happen too often. It will probably never happen again. As, my, as I will do my best to never let that happen again. Uh, with that being said, guys, uh, that is going to wrap up today's video. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.